hazard mower, which I recently had to put a new drive belt on and a new ball joint on the front end and take it out back and see if we can't cut down some brush. Hang on a second, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think you can see the new ball joint end down there. There, it's coming into focus. I've seen you guys on the off-road forums, Facebook groups and stuff, fix these things. But I chose to just get a new one and replace it and be done with it. It was 12 bucks and change and worth every penny. I didn't, you know, put it on there and done. Also got the new belt, which you can't really see it down there. It's too shadowed. But it's red and it's twice as thick as the one that I took off of there. The other one, kept, there you can kind of see it a little bit. Right below that spring. But, uh, the one that was on here was half that wide. It kept popping off. Anyway, let's go out back and I'll show you what I'm going to be mowing. See all that brush pile just left of the gas tank there? Well, we're going to see if we can't knock some of that down. I know there's a few trees out in there. Which we're going to go around. But we're just going to see what we can do with the mower. I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything like that. We're just going to show you now and then show you after I get done a little bit. You can see where we weeded around the gas tank the other day. It's all kind of clean looking around there. It was all grown up. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, there it is after I got done. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? I don't know why they ever let that grow up. I found one tree stump out there, which I was able to mow over the top of. The rest of it had just been like they didn't want to mow that part, so they let it grow up. <clears throat> All right. So stay tuned, and we'll see what's next. Thanks for coming by, checking that out, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Yeah, I've been busy around right here. Let me show you a little quick peek of what's been going on, just so, so you'll wonder what I've actually been doing. Some of you may recognize what that is. Yeah, the garage is getting a makeover. Gonna have 220. I've got receptacles. When I moved in here, I had two receptacles on that far wall and one over here behind my deep freeze. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that wall. I have four on that wall. I have four on this wall. And I have one on that side of the door two there, one over there. I've got floodlights on the front with a switch over there. And you may or may not be able to see this because of the lighting. But back in there, there it is. 220, baby. 220. I'm looking at an upgrade in my welding process. So that's a sneak peek at that. And I don't want to talk a whole lot about it just because I did it properly to code and that's all you need to know. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Here's the boy. He's out there. Hitting it hard, beer in hand.
See if we can zoom in on him. Get a picture of that old Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, he took over for me. He's a bit of a funny fella. Let me show you something. We had a big windstorm a couple nights back, a week or so ago. And it broke this big old tree branch down. And it was just hanging out of the tree. But he couldn't stand it. He went out there the next day and climbed that tree and chopped it down. Chopped it off and left it lay there. And now while he's mowing, he's just mowing around it. <laughs> I'm like, really? Really, dude? I'll probably have to get the tractor and go down there and pick it up. It doesn't look like he's going to. All right. I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.